Hi guys, my name is Precious and I'm a food and lifestyle blogger at PreciousCore.com. You're welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an insanely delicious Cameroonian food called Koki Corn. You could also call it like fresh corn tamales. It's made out of fresh corn that is blended, mixed with other ingredients, wrapped in banana leaves or aluminium foil and then steamed until done. It is so so delicious. I'll show you guys the ingredients we need and then we can start cooking. So these are my banana leaves that I'm going to be using to wrap my cookie corn. I actually warm them over a flame and I cut them into rectangles. Um, if you don't have a flame and you're using banana leaves, you could boil some water and immerse your leaves inside. By the way, I got, I got these leaves from an Asian store and um, yeah, if you can't find them, I know a lot of you guys can't find leaves where you live. I would say go with aluminium foil. If you can find non-stick aluminium foil, that would be just ideal. So I have my corn here that I've cut off the cup. Um, this <laughs> some nice fresh corn that I got from the store i'm always so excited this time of the year when you get to see a lot of fresh corn all around oh my god it makes me so happy my kids love cookie corn they call it the yellow food because it's like yellow in color so i love making cookie corn to make them happy so this is the corn you know yellow corn i love corn i think i'm a little addicted to corn roasted boiled everything so what i did was i just peeled this and i chopped it off i'm going to show you guys in a bit what i did but first let me show you the rest of the ingredients so we have some onions here about half a cup of onion that i've chopped and you can see a little a teeny weeny habanero right there that's about a quarter of a habanero now i'm adding a bit of pepper because cocky corn is like bland without a bit of heat um if i was making this for myself i'll put, probably put a full habanero but my kids can't tolerate heat so i'm putting just a little bit so it's not too bland and they can eat as well so yeah the onion is optional but i love adding onion because it gives it a really nice flavor right here i have three quarters of a cup of red palm oil which is so so good now i have my cornmeal a cup of cornmeal now back home in cameroon when they are making cocky corn there is no need to add cornmeal because the corn back home is very stashy you know you don't need to add anything to it but for some reason the corn here is just so light like it's all fiber i don't know the word to use it's so light the first time i came here i made cookie corn with just the corn here and it didn't hold you want something that will hold together like a cake so it's very important you have to add that cornmeal this is one cup of cornmeal and then i have about a cup here of chopped spinach back when we use cocoyam leaves but i can't find cocoyam leaves here so spinach to the rescue i mean spinach has been saving my life since i came into this country like i use it as the replacement for any vegetable that i can't find cocoyam leaves which i leave just anything then I have some salt and then I have one Maggi cube that's basically it let's start cooking now just to show you guys you know what I did with my corn I peeled it open and took off as many of these as I could take out these things are like stubborn I don't know for some reason you keep taking them out you can't get them all out so I get out as much as I can I don't sweat it if I can't get everything out and just to let you guys know that some people do use canned um, kennel corn, that's sweet corn for cookie corn. Some people even use the frozen corn in bags that you can find as gro at grocery stores depending on where you live. But I love going with the fresh corn because the flavor is unbeatable. So what I do is I just, you know, place my corn on my chopping board like so. Then I run my knife from one end to the... Just carefully, some of the corn is trying to escape. <laughs> I think a deep bowl would have been better so it holds that corn for me so just like so and that's basically it I just you know chop off all the corn and I'm using about four cups I'm using four cups actually of corn in this recipe so so the first thing I'm doing here is pouring my palm oil into a skillet and I'm just going to heat this up I'm not bleaching it I just want it to be nice and warm so it mixes easily with the rest of my cookie corn mixture so right now I'm just pouring my nice sweet corn into the blender 
I'm going to add in a little bit of water, just about a quarter of a cup because this corn is really watery, like it's so, so soft <laughs> compared to the ones back home that are really hard. Nice. My neighbor told me when she was pregnant, um, she was really craving corn, you know, pregnancy cravings. So she's from Africa, she's from Uganda actually. So she told her husband she really wanted to eat corn. Her husband brought her the sweet corn from the grocery stores here. And when she ate it with the pregnancy hormones and everything, she was so disappointed that she cried. It was like... <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to pause this. You don't want to blend it into a fine paste. You want it to be coarse. You want to still see the corn because that's how cookie corn should be. For some reason, I forgot to add in my onion and habanero and that was supposed to blend together with the corn. So I'm going to try to just, you know, pulse this a little bit so it can break into it without blending the corn too much. So maybe five seconds or so. And that's it. Okay. That is looking good. So. Getting everything out so I don't waste anything. Now to my blended corn, I'm going to add in my cornmeal. Just going to mix until well incorporated. Okay, that's my salt. Um, almost a teaspoon, not quite a teaspoon of salt. One seasoning cube. Mix, 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 mix. Then my oil. It's looking good. So I'm just going to mix. That's looking good. So finally, my spinach. Now it's time to wrap. Now to prepare my pot, this is what I do. Don't throw these cups, you know, <laughs> when you chop the corn off. I just use it to create like a layer, a base at the bottom of my pot. Now this helps to prevent water from getting into your cocky corn. Now what I'm doing right now is just adding in a little bit of water, not too much. And I'm going to put this on the fire to start boiling. So while I wrap my cocky corn, I put it straight on boiling water. Now I'm just putting my banana leaf over this um, semi-shallow bowl or plate, <laughs> you know, just so that the, everything doesn't just flatten out. So it's easier for me to wrap it. So I'm going to put in about two scoops of my mixture here. This is looking good. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Oops. Just make sure that it comes inside. There we go. Then I'm going to wrap this. If you've watched my kwakoko video, this is basically the same process as wrapping kwakoko, you know. Just hold from one end and wrap to the other end to form some sort of a rectangle or so. <laughs> and if you're using foil, just do the same thing, you know. And you want to make sure that leaf is long enough just to be sure that it doesn't fall out. Oops. So, I'm just folding one side, you know, normally. With foil, you may probably have to twist it or fold. Anyhow, it's still going to lock. Then, that's what it looks like. It goes right onto my pot.
now my cookie cone is all tied and the water the first water i put is almost getting dry so i'm just going in there with just about a quarter cup of water you don't want to put too much water that will come up to the level of the bundles because you don't want water to get into the cookie cone you just want the steam from the water so what i like to do is take some of the old and hopeless <laughs> banana leaves that are torn and I, I didn't use them they are torn and i didn't use them to tie any cookies so i'm just going to use these ones to cover so it retains the steam and this is going to cook for about 30 minutes every 5 to 10 minutes i'm going to check to see if the water is still um if there's still water in there or to see the water level and i'm definitely going to add so i like keeping my cup of water on the side so i can check and i can add as time goes on so it's going to cook for about 30 minutes i just love when i cook something in banana leaves the taste is out of this world the banana leaves just brings a different dimension to it i can't wait to show you guys when it is all done my cookie con is all done i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on the inside look at that perfection i'm going to go in with my fork because oh my god Mm. oh my god it is sweet it is moist it is corny so so delicious this is the ultimate corn dish for me it's vegetarian but sometimes i'll just serve this with my perfect grilled chicken and i have a video i'm going to link that in the description box below how i make my perfect grilled chicken so my kids can have like a balanced meal you know corn with chicken it is so 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 good when it cools down you know it curds more properly i just like to curd it and serve mm. so go into your kitchen and make some cookie corn whether you're using fresh corn or corn of the can or frozen sweet corn just go and make some thank you guys so much for spending time with me if you liked this video be sure to give me a thumbs up if you've not subscribed to my channel take a minute and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos for the full recipe go to my blog preciouscore.com and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye